everybody, this is No Excuses. I'm your host, Rodney Arbona. I'm here with my very special guest. I have Charlene and Manny for Warriors Watch Riders. Thank you for the board. Thank you. Thank you. This organization you have is so unique. And the fact that this started not even too long ago, just about 10 years. Correct. Yeah. And it's all about making sure we get people escorted to and from the airport and things of that nature and helping their families as they're deployed. Correct. Uh, we like to do uh, send-offs as they go into the military. Uh, we like to do it all the homes as they come back. And even after they're back, as they've been here for a while, which includes our veterans from prior conflicts, um, including Vietnam, World War II, however few are left, um, we want to give them the welcome home that they never received. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. That must be uh, a challenge to some degree, because some of these folks who've been out of war for so long, it, I notice when I see them, some of them are like, sh they don't want to talk too much, right? They kind of suppress a lot. Correct. I notice that in my own family. Are you experiencing this as well, the two of you? Yes. Um, well, for instance, I, uh, I went into somebody's home and he was sporting his army veteran, uh, Vietnam uh, veteran hat. So I asked him, I, I asked him a direct question as to what division he was in, what uh -huh. unit he was in, what did he do? So he opened up, he talked about it a little bit, and then I asked him, uh, how's your welcome home? So I said, you kidding me? They checked to make sure he didn't have any diseases and kicked me out that door. Oh, um, sad. It's, it's sad. Um, and he was a World War II veteran. Wow. Um, and that's him. Um, I told him, I said, you know, I have a, a few of my friends that we ride motorcycles and we love to hear war stories. How about on this Sunday we come and you tell us those stories? He said, sure, no problem. Well, I reached out to his family. Google is a wonderful thing. <laughs> family members. I let them know what we were about to do, that we were going to honor him for his service and thank him for his service. Uh, I let the police department know we were rolling oh, through with 20, 30 right. motorcycles. Uh, before you know it, the police department wanted to get involved, fire department, EMS, Boy oh, Scouts, Jackson. Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. So it was a whole parade through town, and we paraded up and down his street. Oh my God! And he's sitting out there with his family and tears rolling down his eyes, and he never got that welcome home. And we gave That's it to beautiful. him. Beautiful. So, well, thank you for the two of that. And Charlene, tell me why did the two of you get involved? We got involved and met Warriors Watch Riders when our son came home from deployment, and through friends of a friend and happenstance, we connected with them and they came and welcomed home our son and we fell in love with what they do and why they do it. So we said, you know, we want to pay it forward and make another family feel the way they made us feel. So we started riding with them and it has just grown. We've been with them since 2013. That's wonderful. And it's more than that because mm -hmm. I met Charlene at a Healing Waters event right. of having our vets out on the stream to go fly mm -hmm. fishing. So you guys really go a little bit past. You're being a little uh, <laughs> low-key with what you do. You do yeah. a lot more, which I commend both of you on it. And that was wonderful meeting you there and, and how you came out and I saw you guys in action. and. You had no idea this was going to and happen. And that was kind of happenstance, too. One of our members stopped the stream yes. where they were fishing. And so he spoke with them. And so we went to star the veterans. And that's how we got invited to that. And we've done several things with Valor as well. So we, we just kind of go wherever we can to say thank you to our veterans. Now explain starring a veteran. Most of us don't understand what that is. Uh, what we do is uh, when the American flag, be right before it gets respectfully retired, the stars, we have volunteers that they cut the stars out and uh, we put them in a little packet and behind it there's a little saying. Um, sure. And uh, we present it to our veterans as a token of our appreciation. And it pretty much says that I'm a, I am a part of an American flag. I can no longer fly for the wind and the rain has caused me to become tattered and torn. Please carry me as a reminder that you are not forgotten and we thank them for their service. I, so. This is beautiful. This is truly beautiful. I've never heard of seeing anything like this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's done elsewhere with other organizations. but I know uh, that there's several. There's a couple yeah. of Gold Star families mm -hmm. that do it with their organization. So we've known of several 
and it just it's something small that we can carry in our pockets and when we run into a veteran you know we stop at the grocery store out in the parking lot at a restaurant wherever we can and, and just a little token and say thank you this is beautiful this is truly beautiful it's such a nice gesture and i'm sure it puts a little bit of smile on their face as well because you know they they wear their hats proudly whatever oh, absolutely they served in that they're a veteran and uh that's our indicator that hey mm -hmm. let's make his day let's make her day you right. know and there's a lot of female veterans more than what you would think of that they're still out there um and uh, you know it's they're everywhere and it's just it's great to be able to reach out and and thank them now i also understand this is not a not-for-profit it's not a for-profit there's actually no financial transactions this None is just whatsoever. you guys creating actions correct what made you go that route and not try to apply for some sort of uh, 501c or or even for-profit where you can collect funds and some and then disperse them well we're not a, a motorcycle club we're a motorcycle riding group right um so we can be everywhere, anywhere, and 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 because of that, um, we try to keep it as low key as possible. Um, because once you and get you're on this show, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But um, you know, because if not, then you need it. It, it gets a little too involved, and we're all volunteers, and okay. the timing is tight to begin with. Sure. And to be able to keep the financial side and having a treasurer and all this other stuff. So when we offer them those stars, those stars are donated, the flags are donated once they're retired. Um, the challenge points that we give our veterans as well, um, we buy them out of our own pockets. Wow. Um, so it, it, it's not, we don't need to, we would, um, whenever there's an event, a fundraising event, mm -hmm. we will go and support it. Okay. You know, we will go and, you know, Sure. It's a twenty dollar ride for you know somebody's uh, whatever you know, right. and we'll go and you know we each pay the twenty dollars, and then you know if they have an event later on and there's food, drinks, games, whatever, we will, we'll do what we can to support that event. But us personally, we don't move any money, we don't accept okay. any money, uh, and we usually deflect that to a local organization that is a five hundred one c. Okay, great. Uh, so now your your organization is uh, excuse me. You're part of the Northeast Pennsylvania organization, right. correct? And how big is the organization as a whole? As a whole, there's I would say there's probably a few thousand members all throughout That's the incredible. United States, um, and because it started in Pennsylvania, it's heavier in, yeah. in in Pennsylvania. And does it fall out into the states around us? Is that how it kind of works out? Correct, correct. Uh, there's chapters um, from California to Florida. PA, Tennessee, Jersey, uh, New York. Um, so, you know, we're a little bit scattered. Sure. You know, um, but the, the the more dense population of members is in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. Yeah. What's next for the organization? We just keep growing as much as we can. Um, three, four years ago, we escorted a piece of. Uh, World Trade Center steel to Huntington, West Virginia. That's incredible. Um, and it wasn't just Warriors Watch for others. There were a bunch of other groups involved. Um, and uh, so since then, we the mayor keeps inviting us back every year. And <laughs> you we, opened that door pretty wide. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so as a matter of fact, we're planning to go back on 9/11 because on 9/11 when they have the uh, memorial. Yeah. Uh, so we're going back, and because of that. Now there's still a chapter in West Virginia because the riders wonderful. still decide, hey, we want to do what you do. Well, here's what we do. You're welcome, you know. And, 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 and that's, that's how we grow. grow. That's, that's great. exactly how we grow. And so it's know. a very organic growth. And, it is. and how does how do people join? How do they get a hold of you? Um, you can email us at um, wwrnepa at gmail dot com, okay. and um, that comes to us, and one of us will respond. Um, there's there's no dues, there's no qualifications, there's no mandatory rides or anything. You don't have to ride a motorcycle. You can come in your cage, as we call them. Mm -hmm. um, the only requirement to wear the patch is that you attend three missions. Okay, three missions. And three missions meaning what? I any of our missions, whether it's a send-off, a welcome home, a funeral flag line, 
anything that we do, each one is called a mission. We do our famous mug and hug. Uh, we did one yesterday at the Olive Garden, and a gentleman, a soldier, just graduated boot camp in AIT, so he was there having dinner with his family. His mom invited us. We go in parading with our flags. We interrupt the whole restaurant. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's going to be pretty neat. You see 20 of these walking in. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun. Time stops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we packed two new members yesterday. So yeah, that's wonderful. So is. give me that website slowly again, please. It, it's an email. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, W-W-R-N-E-T-A at gmail.com. Wonderful. And there's also a website, our national website. Uh, it's warriorswatch.org. Warriorswatch. Yeah. Uh, and that takes you to a national uh, website where it shows you what is happening throughout the organization, all throughout the states. And um, if you want to request a, um, a, mission. a mission, whether you want to welcome home your family member, send off, um, is that part of the business that funeral will stand a funeral when sure. we call a flag line uh, where we basically stand outside of the um, the place the hole in our, our flags just forming a line and all they see is the sea of uh, red white and blue and patriots Beautiful. just standing tall yeah. is there anything other than missions that people can do for the organization like administratively or something like that just no, not really. Okay. Um, and usually, and how we get our, our missions is to, through members um, that have that know somebody, or like I explained about that gentleman that sure. has worn <laughs> his hat, and you create your own, you right. know. Right. Um, but uh, the best thing that we ask for is just pass the word around. The more patriots, the better, you know. The, the bigger the, the workforce, the, the more we get to uh, be able to recognize and honor. And I'm honored to be with you two of you today. Well, I was thank very you. thank you. No, you're welcome. I was very touched when I met Charlene, and I just saw you guys in action, and light bulbs went off in my head about a million <laughs> times. I think the water got warmer near my feet. <laughs> it, was, it was a good day. Yeah. It was, it was a good it's day. very humbling to us to be able to yeah. say thank you and and to reach out. So even if if someone doesn't want to join Warriors Watch Riders in particular, thank a veteran. You know, right. be appreciative for what they do and the sacrifices and their families, especially the gold star families. Those are, are people who have lost a loved one. Yes. And and that's something that, that no one else can, can ever understand unless you've been there. So that's that's what our goal and our mission is, is to let our veterans know that that they're not alone and that they are appreciated. Thank you for that. Thank you, Manny, for being oh, here. It's our pleasure. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Oh, it's my pleasure. All my pleasure. Folks, this is No Excuses. I'm your host, Rodney Arbona, and I want to thank once again Charlene and Manny for being here with me today and expressing what wonderful work they're all doing. Have a great time. I'll see you next time again. Thank you. <laughs>